Today, I'm going to be comparing the two popular video and screen recording tools, Loom and Descript, and help you figure out which one you should be using. So both of them were built with the same function in mind to allow you to quickly and easily record videos that you can then share with others. Often this means that it eliminates the need for meetings and allows you to communicate so much more clearly than you would through written text. All right, let's start with Loom. So once you download it to your computer, this is what you're going to see. So just click on that icon and then you'll see that you have options. So if I wanted to record just me on camera, then I would come over here and click this icon here. And now it would just film me face to camera. Or I can record me and my screen. So I'm going to change this to my circle. Then I'm going to select either custom size if I want. I can choose a specific window or full screen. So let's just go full screen. And then for you on camera, you can have yourself large like this, or you can make it a bit smaller. And you can also, you can move it around. Okay, so you can place yourself on screen wherever you would like. And then in Loom, if we click effects, then you'll see that I can add this great background effect. Um, I can also add some frames around me. And also there are some templates available as well. So that's what the Loom recorder looks like. Also, if you click notes, and this is kind of cool because you can write down notes and then read from the notes, but it's not going to show up in your recording. So I do think that that is cool. But that's the basics of filming a video. So I'm just going to click start recording. And then it's going to give me a little countdown timer. And I just go ahead and film a video. When I'm done, I'm going to click on the icon again. And then it's automatically going to share this page here that I can quickly share out with others. So if I click this link right here, that's then a link that I'm going to go email out or share in a Facebook group answering a question. So what I love about Loom is how quick and easy that process feels. They've really nailed simplicity and speed and it just makes you want to use it, particularly because of how it automatically opens up in your web browser. And all I have to do is click once and go ahead and share it out. Now let's look at recording with Descript. Very similar. I have my icon up here. I'm going to click on that. And then I have the exact same option. So do I want to film just me on camera like this? Or do I want to film me on screen like this? Now, when it comes to their options, I just have the option between me in a square or a circle, but just like Loom, I can move it all around on screen. And you can actually move it around while you're recording in both of them, which is pretty cool. So Descript does not have those little frames, but you'll see that you could add that after you record. Okay, so let's say that I'm ready to record with Descript. Now I'm just going to click record and edit. I'm going to drag where I want to record hit start recording and I'm good to go. And I'm now recording my video. When I'm done, I'm just going to go over here, click this. And now it's going to open up in the Descript editor, but that's because I chose that option. So when you use Descript, you can either have it set to record and edit, or you can change this to record and share. If I do record and share, and I'm wanting to do this really quickly, I just click record and share. Then I press the space bar to record my full screen going to give me that quick countdown timer. I'm going to record, then I'm going to hit the stop button. And now just like Loom, it's going to open up a share page. And then all I need to do to share it out is click this icon here, and then click copy link. And I can share it just like I would a Loom video. So there's something there where for the purpose of quick sharing, Loom just feels so much easier and faster. And I tend to to use it for that purpose. If I'm answering a quick question and I know that there's not going to be any edits involved on my end, then I will often default to Loom. Okay, and I just wanted to show you that when you are recording in Descript, the countdown timer doesn't show. Okay, so even though it showed up on screen, you don't have to worry about that. And even with both of them, you have options in terms of what it records. So for example, for Loom, I have recording controls always hidden. And I'm sure that I could do the same with Descript. So I'm just going to click settings and I can set this to minimize the recording doc. So because of those few extra clicks, I find myself using Loom for that purpose. Now let's talk about editing because that's where Descript is far superior. So for example, here's that video that we just recorded with Loom. If I want to edit it, then I'm going to click edit, edit my video, and it's going to open up a very simple editor. 
Now, they both allow you to edit from transcripts. This wasn't always the way. It used to be only Descript that had this feature, which is why I was only ever recommending Descript because I think this is such an incredible feature. What I mean by that is that rather than having to edit a video like this down here, what I can do is I can just read the transcript. I can highlight the part that I want to take out of my video, and then I can just go ahead and delete that. So I read the transcript, I remove any text that I don't want to be included in the video, and it automatically cuts it from the video itself. Incredible. Absolutely love that. For both tools, that is going to make your editing so much faster and easier. But when it comes to Loom, I have a really simple editor down here. And while I can make a few little cuts and things like that to have it be a more specific edit, that's really all I can do. OK, so I can edit from the transcript. I can, you know, split clips at particular sections. I can remove some of this dead space. But this is a very, very simplistic editor that I would only want to use if I had like a sentence that I wanted to remove from a video. And that was it. They've also started to add more AI features, for example, the ability to remove silences and remove filler words, but then you need to upgrade to Loom AI in order to use that. So with Loom, I can't really add text on top, add any image overlays, any graphics. It's very much a simple communication tool. Now let's contrast that with Descript. So here's the video that we created. Just like Loom, I'm going to highlight the text that I want to remove from the video. I'm going to delete it on my keyboard, and it's going to automatically cut it from the video. OK, so we have that functionality in both of them. But when it comes to being an editor, Descript is much better. So if I was ever creating a longer form video, so if I was ever creating a YouTube video, an online course lesson, a training, I am 100 percent going to rely on Descript and not Loom. So, for example, if we go up here, you'll see that I am then able to do a whole lot more. So I wanted to add some text on top. I can just go over to captions, choose a design that I like, and that will automatically generate captions for me. Now, let's say I wanted to add an image or a video on top of this Descript file. I absolutely can. I'm just going to open up my files, drag that in. And now I have an image on top that I can then move around and place it wherever I want it to. Same with adding my own video. I literally just drag it in on top of my file and then it will add to my video. So when I'm creating videos for YouTube or any training videos, this is a feature that I 100% need. And it's not just your own images. If you go over here to stock, you can type in anything. So let's say beach. Then I can go over to images. You'll see that there's a ton that I could add in here. Same with videos. Okay, so I can find a video that I want to include, just click on that, and then it will automatically add it to my video. You might just need to make a few little edits like that to move it around, and then you're good. So text, images, arrows, right? None of this you could do in Loom. So what I would say is Descript is a full-on video editor. So from filming all the way to editing and publishing a video, that entire process, I'm only using Descript, which is amazing and I love. And because it's designed this way, that process has become so much faster and easier for me. So even if we click on Underlord, you'll see all these built in AI features, for example, making your sound more professional, removing filler words, shortening word gaps. Um, there's just so much here, even repurposing your content and turning long form content into short form clips for social media, things like that. It's amazing. So I still find myself using Loom when I want to quickly respond to a question and I know that there's going to be no editing involved, but really I could still be using Descript for that case as well. It is still very quick and easy to just change the control to record and share, record my video in Descript and then share that link. So I really think that if you're choosing between the two, you can just use Descript for all purposes. So not only can you use it to send quick responses to any questions that you receive or send quick training videos to anyone on your team, but you also have the full advanced editor 
to be able to up your video game. So highly recommend Descript. I still love Loom as well. I will leave links to both of these tools down below, and I'm sure that both of them will be making tons of improvements this year, and we will see even more AI being added to them. All right, that is my comparison of the two. Let me know in the comments down below which one you are going to be using. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye.